Michael Brecker does it. John Coltrane does it. Chris Potter does it. They are all playing outside the regular diatonic chord schemes. And in such a delicate way, I would love to be able to do this. So I checked this out. There's this really great way of playing outside by using very simple minor chord licks. Let's get into this. What these great superheroes of saxophone all are playing in the earlier shown examples are basically a 5-1 progression, the dominant to the tonic. Michael Brecker and Chris Butter both playing D minor G7C, which is a basic 2-5-1 in C major on this great tune of confirmation, playing in the 4th to the 5th bar. John Coltrane exactly the same, he's playing the 4th to the 5th bar in a blues also a 2-5-1 progression or 5-1 progression. Now that we have set the table, Checkmate. we are ready for some action. A go-to I always tend to go back to is start simple. Boil everything down to the most simple thing you can and start there. This D minor 7 chord for example. Let's play a simple 2-5-1 in C. I put brackets around the G7. Basically I do not want the G7 to be in there. I want only D minor 7 to C major 7, leaving that dominant chord out, but using the minor chord as a dominant chord. This D minor 7 line goes directly into C major. And this very simple D minor 7 line up goes directly into C major 2. We're playing inside the scale, of course, now. Diatonic, all notes inside. The big question is, how do we get this altered? There is a thing called the backdoor dominant. And nice. there's a long story and explanation on how this fits into C major. Put a comment in the comment section below if you would really like an explanation on the backdoor dominant. The short explanation is that the backdoor dominant in C major is B flat 7. We substitute the 5, the G7, mm. with this backdoor dominant, the B flat 7. So where did my minor 7 concept go? What I said, I will not bore you with the long details of the theoretical explanation here. But before any dominant chord, we can add a 2 chord, a 2 minor 7 chord. Looking at the D minor 7, G7, C, we see before the G7, the dominant chord, we have a 2 minor chord, the D minor 7. This means if we put the B flat 7 instead of the G7, well, we can add the 2 minor chord of the B flat 7 instead of the D minor 7. So we add an F minor 7 there. Our progression now looks like this F minor 7, B flat 7, C major. Back to the starting point. Keep it simple. We only want to play the 2 minor chord going into the 1 chord. So what do we do? We cut out the dominant, the B flat 7, and then we have. F minor 7 going into C major 7. Looking at the diatonic licks from before, the D minor 7 going into C major. Let's transpose this into F minor 7 going to C major, sounding like this. Pretty altered, huh? Here's the second lick we used, the D minor scale just going up. And if we transpose this into F minor going to C major, it sounds like this. I love this sound. In this way, you get a really simple way to add the altered sound into a normal 251, just playing the minor chord. The next alteration is a little bit more heavy. And remember, keep it simple. Our goal is still to play only minor chord to the one chord. The even more altered sound comes from the tritone substituted dominant. Whoa, there we go. Keep it simple, I just said. Sorry about that. Try to substitute a dominant. And again, there's a long theoretical explanation of what the tritone substitute dominant is and I'll not go into this here, but you should check out this video if you want to know everything about the tritone substitute dominant because here I put everything very clear into words and examples. Let's go on with our minor chords. The tritone substitute dominant in our 251 in C is the D flat 7 chord. We substitute the G7 chord with the D flat 7 chord. We don't want the complicated mm -hmm. dominant chord, we need our two minor chords. Adding the two minor chords to the equation. The two minor chord of the D flat is the A flat minor 7, and we add this to the progression. We get the A flat minor 7, D flat 7. And I put this little T, the T stands for tritone substituted. Transposing our simple D minor lick into a flat minor 7, C major. 
And the scale up lick looks like this. The D minor scale up. And the A flat minor 7 scale up. Now you really get this altered sound in that A flat minor 7 chord. With these simple tools, you can get a really hip outside sound using the backdoor dominant, the second degree minor chord, and the tritone substituted second degree minor chord as your alterations. For all the patrons who have access to the first tier, that's basically all my patrons, I have added 10 licks in the lesson transcription. This is an extra bonus I'll continue adding in all my lesson descriptions from now on. Go to the Patreon channel and download the lesson and find the links on the last page. What altered sound do you like the most? And which player do you think plays the best altered sounds? What I just mentioned, if you want to get more out of my lessons here, get onto the Patreon, download the lessons. You'll get the full text and full transcription of all the lessons I have made till now and of course you support me really a lot by being a patron of mine. Thank you very much. All the questions you have about this or about other topics, put them in the comments below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Like and subscribe, you know where to find this. The only thing there is to say now is play music and have fun.